Hello guys, my name is Luis Gonzalez and in this video I want to share with you how I got my very first job after I finished my university studies. So if you want to learn more, then keep on watching. So congratulations, you finished your university, you are ready, you got your diploma, your mom is happy, your friends are celebrating, but now you're faced with the reality that you need a job. And it's actually not that easy if you started looking for some options out there. It's, it's actually quite hard. And if you are a brand new beginner, a junior, so to say, it's actually harder, I will say, because you're competing with people that has maybe equal qualification as you have, or even better. And that's actually quite hard and sometimes, I mean, disappointing, right? If you're one of the lucky ones that just graduated and received a job offer right away, well, congratulations. But for the rest of us, what I would recommend is to start with an internship. I think it's the best way to start your professional career or to enter the job market. Start creating some curriculum or resume, some, some experiences that you can start listing out there also to include in your LinkedIn profile. And that will kind of like boost up your relationships with other people within the job market. And this is what I want to talk about right now. How I got my internship in Europe by using this platform. So if you watch my very last video, you will know why I decided to start my professional career abroad. And if you didn't, I will list it for you right here in one of the corners so you can go there and watch it. So the platform I used to start talking to different companies was called ISEC. So this is a student run organization. What is available for us is to start undertaking different internships. For example, you can go abroad to help an NGO you can also go and work for a company without receiving any pay, or you can go work and be paid. But I'm going to break it down for you in a minute, and we also will go through the whole website and we'll explain to you how you can apply to them. So ISEC is kind of like the middleman between you and also the company, and in the middle is ISEC. They start talking to the company and they make sort of like corporations that they post on their platform and you can go and see them all around the world and start applying to these opportunities. And of course, you have to pay a fee for that. How much? Well, it actually depends of where you're located at. So in different locations, in different parts of the world, you will pay more or less. We're going to see how that works in a minute. But the neat thing about this is that for the fee that you're paying, you get access to this platform where you're pretty much safe, sort of, like, the opportunities that you're applying to, they already know that they are not expecting an expert or like a senior or anything like that. They're expecting a, a student or like a recent graduate. Also, it's very cool because the people, I mean, this middleman that I call, they're actually a lot of students, okay? They are kind of like at our age range. And that's also interesting because when you move to a new country, well, it, it doesn't hurt to make some new friends to these people, right? So it's like you're traveling and you're making sure that you have already some people that you can rely on. ISEC also provides you the opportunity to find a housing. Also, they pick you up at the airport. That's also part of the service. So it's pretty cool. So just having that relationship or people that you know you can rely on, especially during your first days in the country, I think is, is very, very useful. Let's jump into the website and see how that works out. So the first thing is that you will have to go to isec.org or isec.org and you will see this website, right? So if you scroll down, you will see, well, a little information about ISEC, where is it, the platform, the countries and territories. So you have 114 countries and territories. In theory, that's like how many options you have available. Um, more than 7,000 sports organizations, more than 30,000 experiences every year. Is that updated, COVID? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so become an intern. So you see, here are the different kind of like uh, products that they have, global talent. Um, this is the one I was telling you about where you go abroad with a company and you receive a remuneration for your, for your work. Um, if you come down Global T-shirt, I think that's like a sub product of Global Talent, but focused on teaching. Become a volunteer, which is Global Volunteer. 
I took this experience and I went to Egypt. I will try to leave a picture for you somewhere here. It was great. Um, at that time, it was not called Global Volunteer. It had a different name, but yeah, the experience is basically the same. In this one, they don't pay you. What they do is that they provide housing for you and sometimes you have other perks depending on the project, right? So for example, in my experience, I was working with a lot of kids and when we went to the NGO to take care of these kids, um, during the lunch time, we were able to eat with them. So at least during the working hours, we have the lunch cover. So yeah, depending on the different projects, you have some experiences for you. But in this one, we're gonna focus on, yeah, let's go up here, global talent. So if you come here, okay, learn more about interim. They definitely, they definitely changed the platform. It was different when I applied. Um, you see, I mean, you can go ahead and read all this information. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is like the values, okay? So I think it's it's very interesting to, to read it because it's also very important that you kind of like identify yourself with the organization. It's not only about going abroad and working, but it's actually about empowering yourself and how you will make a change in the world. I think it's very interesting. Just give it a read. I was part of ISEC myself, like working for the organization. And then I took part like a customer because I took one of the experiences, which is actually part of the experiences as a IS hacker. But yeah, um, I will not make it too complicated, but basically like you sign up, then you find an internship. This is actually the best part, right? Because you're looking for opportunities that are 100% mashable with you and in the countries that you want process. Um, then you go to the selection process is basically going to selection process with the company, okay? And then all the preparation process to get you from your home country into your host country. So this is how it works, okay? Now let's take a look on the experiences. Here you have like the entering opportunities available for, this is the maximum number of months that you can find experiences here you see it's not like a full contract on definite it's it has like a maximum a minimum of six and a maximum of 18 months okay you can also check when you want to start okay let's say yeah uh, march okay and here you can find okay 56 opportunities found uh as you see i can see all these opportunities without even having to sign up yet okay so you can, from now, you can start doing this yourself, okay? With Tata Consultants and Services, it's in Budapest, Hungary, um, Enterprise, Slovakia, full stack developer for Altamira software. So this is in Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, let's take a look on this one. They, we have the name of the um, project okay how much are you going to earn 2200 euros per month you will have to pay 450 euros and if you come here this is the fees okay to participate in this project this is for candidates from germany as i say this varies from country to country and tell us where you're applying for you can come here and look and yeah look from the different prices for example if you're from new zealand you will be play, paying 1,300 New Zealand euros. Um, this is uh, the language that is needed, okay? A description of the company, the role, working hours, responsibilities, okay? CSS, PHP, HTML, JavaScript. So yeah, basically you have all the information here from different um, companies. This might differ, okay, from country to country or from experience to experience. Let's come back here, yeah. Um, but it's also cool because you can come here and see, okay, if I like something, then I will apply, I can register, I can start looking for opportunities. And I believe that you don't have to pay unless you get accepted. I'm not sure, like, just make sure to contact the person that um, is a representative in your country, in your city. Okay, so how to do that? So you come here and you go for sign up. I wouldn't do it because otherwise I will be uh, inside the data bank. 
inside the database and they will start contacting me. But you can go ahead and do it if you are interested. You will be contacted from someone in your country, okay? In this city, which is the closest one, for example. And uh, yeah, I mean, referral, how did you hear about us? You can, I don't know, do social media if you learn by my video, by watching my video. So yeah, this is how it works. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Like if you are fresh from the university and if you want to go abroad for a while or maybe, yeah, just give it a try in another culture or in a different country and just test your or increase your professional background, also kind of like expand your boundaries. And yeah, why not to give it a try? I have the best time in the company that I worked at, um, the people that I met, it also helped me to build a very extensive networking. And I have to say, this is not something that you can use to completely emigrate to a country. I, in my case, I came here uh, with an opportunity that I got from ISEC. When that finished, I was offered a full-time permanent position in the company. And yeah, this is how I did it. I used this platform to jumpstart my professional career, but I would not recommend it as a medium to 100% emigrate because this is not what they do. It's a matter of the opportunities that you get uh, out of this experience. So yeah, they help you out with the whole migration process, visa and everything. It's, it's very reliable, I will say. If you want to learn more about my experience during this opportunity with ISA, let me know. I will be more than grateful to share it with all of you. And I will see you later in the next video. Bye, guys.